Hello everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials, this time on Continua from Audio Damage. So Continua is a fantastic synth, is a free oscillator uh, subtractive synthesizer. I can see here one oscillator, the second one and the third one. But it has interesting twists, as we will see. Um, in this first video, as I normally do, I go through the user interface so that we can get started. So, uh, starting from the top, uh, we have the name, continue, we have different view. The first one is for oscillator filter and modulation, which is what you see at the moment. Then we have a macro and effect output view as well. Let's move back to the first view. Next, we have a preset, which is the default one. If you click on default, then you can actually go on the browser for the preset and you can choose by artist, factory, and also user bank. And of course, if you choose factory, then you can choose subcategory like base, keys, etc., and select the preset you need. And you have additional option as well, which we'll see later. If you click again on the preset default, you exit the preset browser. Next, you have um, a settings menu which shows you some of the settings which you can set for continue the logo audio um, damage which will give you the about for the application so let's have a look at the interface as i mentioned is a free oscillator subtractive synth so you have one two and three oscillators you have a two uh, filters here a section for the two filters notice they can be applied in series or also in parallel the other thing which is very interesting is the morphine so from low pass bypass bend pass high pass etc so and this is quite interesting because it means you can switch between one to the other and can okay, of course um, apply modulation here you using for example low frequency or C latest Notice as well that for each of the oscillator of the oscillator you can direct the output to one filter, none of the filter, one filter or both filters as well. And you can do that independently. You see here for oscillator two and also for oscillator number three. You also see a section for FM here, and here's where you can also choose the modulation um, from oscillator 2 into oscillator 1 and from oscillator 2 into oscillator sorry from oscillator 3 into oscillator 2 we there is also a section for noise that can be applied to both filter independently and there is also a drive for distortion and you have this uh, different selection here where it says of like soft clip uh, firm clip uh, etc and you, it can be uh, it can be applied pre or post as well, which makes it even more interesting. Next, we have a section for uh, your uh, ADSR for your track of the case sustain and release. You have two, but in addition to these two, you also have a flexible envelope generator or a multi-point uh, envelope generator. You have a first one here, and you have a second one there as well. Here you have a section for the LFO, so you have um, uh, four LFOs, and again the shape, um, in terms of way, the way shape that the LFO will use are uh, um, completely variable, as you can see, uh, using the shape dial, very, very interesting. Additionally, you have a sample hold uh, section, uh, which, can, which has also its um, random source as well. Um, or it can be triggered by the LFO 1 to 4 or also the DSR 1 2 and also the flexible envelope generator 1 and 2. Here you have a VCA section as well. At the bottom here you have a section for uh, the keyboard. You can go up and down an octave, you can also set the latch function here. Um, as we will see in, um, in some of the next tutorials it is very straightforward to use continuous sometimes it can be intimidating especially when you look at it at the first time but it is really straightforward when you when you know how to for example if you double click on the morphia you can add a modulation source you can say this is the destination the value you click on the plus 
you can say I want to use the LFO1 as the source, you uh, apply a value, like so, and you can see the morph is being modulated by LFO1. And of course you can increase the frequency, etc. So it's really, really straightforward on how to use it. And but we will see in more detail each of these sections in the next video. So now let's try some presets. So let's click on the default. Let's go on the base as acid as it gets. Let's try a modern funk. Let's try some keys. Some outrunner. Let's try a couple of leads, abrasive. and atmosphere so complicated so flying to Tyrol As you can hear, very interesting uh, sounds, very interesting presets. Um, this was an overview just to get you started, so see you at the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.